Sveiki ir sveiki atvuka i mano kanawa. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're old and welcome if this is your first time watching. I'm Jude, I do Eurovision reactions and we are taking a dive into Lithuania today. The land of interesting music, interesting groups, iconic numbers, iconic dances in Eurovision. We're looking at the rip from 2020 and 2021 in the series Euro Jewels, I seek to find my favourite year, 2020 or 2021, by comparing the acts from 2020 and 2021 individually. We have got to Lithuania and I am going to be looking at The Rip and On Fire and Discotheque to see which song is actually my favourite and by extension, which year do I prefer as a whole. So, Lithuania has brought us The Rip for the past two years. They won... Um, Pabadom Ishnaoyo both times, um, which it very much deserved, and so they progressed on to Eurovision. And so I'm going to react to both of them, give you some quick opinions, and then we're going to say which do I really prefer. And so earphones are in, and I am pressing play. Classic Eurovision sound as usual. I'm a human, not a stone. I can make a change and go. This entire music video is an art piece. The heat is getting high. Vaidato's vocals are very interesting. He's he's incredibly good live, and his vocals are just different. And he's so quirky, and he's so gripping. This whole video is just so wow. It makes you think a lot. And obviously, all these actions that he's doing relate to something to do with the song. It's just so much fun. This is what the riff are. Fun, but with a message hidden beneath it. And also the fact that they've done this entire video in black and white and you almost wouldn't even notice. It's iconic. It's just such a fun song. And then obviously we now have red and you're going, oh, this was in black and white. C'est con? What is this? I mean, an art piece. An art piece, that is. How are they managed to get such iconic music every time impresses me so much. So now it is time for discotheque. Let's go. Okay. I feel the rhythm. Something's going on here. I love the whole post-performance dressing room vibe of sort of this. The, the group vibes are iconic. Yellow outfits? Yes. At my home. I mean, this was a deserved top 10 finish because of the, the message even in this song is that we may be stuck at home, but we can still dance, we can still enjoy ourselves. And I mean, if this music video doesn't give you those vibes, go now. It's just so much fun. And this song is so well made. I remember when this came out, it was stuck in my head for a good week. I really cannot do this, can I? By that I can though. Now go, it is okay to dance alone. I mean, so much fun. It's just fun, enjoyable. The Rip know how to make a fun, danceable song for Eurovision. They know how to do something that people are gonna love. And what do people do? They loved it. Top seven result. Incredible. I mean, The Rip, they don't feel to disappoint. They they can't disappoint. They're just, they're so much fun. They're so interesting. I can't wait to see what music they produce in the future. But now it's time where I have to work out who I'm going to give my point to. Discotheque or on fire? Discotheque or on fire? And it's really difficult because I do love both of the songs. And they were both reasonably high. But I will say that Discotheque was higher in my top than On Fire was. And if we ignore the fact that 2021 was a stronger year than 2020, I think we can all agree. I think I'm going to have to give my point this year, or for Lithuania, to Discotech. 2021 gets another point from me. It's joyful, it's exciting, the live performance, in fact both of their live performances were incredible last year and this year in um, Pabadon Ishnawio, but I loved it. It was so much fun, and 
Yeah, Discotech gets my point, but what I want to know is who gets your point? Who do you prefer, Discotech or On Fire? Let me know in the comments down below. And what year is your favourite overall? But that is all the time I have for today. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Famous son of Edith, summer sunny.